there's two approaches really and I think the approach that Rover Race is taking is actually to create physical hardware create physical hardware get that physical hardware on the tracks and then work back from there and do the simulations uh, we're here at Silverstone today uh, we're testing two cars today for the first time we haven't done it before so Deathbot 1 and Deathbot 2 uh, we'll get both of them running to begin with with the drivers and then we'll get them running in AI mode that's the plan for today in preparation for Marrakesh Yeah, so this is DevBot 2, the second car we've built. Uh, this is the very first time it's been out. We're just about to shake it down and then we're going to shake it down around the circuit and implement the AI. But the main thing you're going to see is either my hands off the wheel or we're going to see the blue light flashing on the dash, which is quite obvious. That means we're in AI mode. So uh, our goal for today is just to see the vehicle do at least a basic AI test. So that's what we want to achieve. So what I'm pretty much going to do, I'll switch it into the AI mode and the car will drive itself. So I'll have to sit here, my hands off the steering, my life in hands of the car. I'm going to do a few durability laps, then I'm going to stop and the car will drive for itself. <laughs> so, uh, we don't need any safe stops because our safe stop is in the car. His name is Gregory. And uh, he's going to stop the car in case something goes wrong. So the procedure is that we take, we take the map, generate the race line, we put it into the model, we uh, calculate the speed profile and we upload the model to the car. And then just Gregory hits AI switch and it goes. first came on the road 
You know, autonomy is the biggest change that we're going to see in our, well, certainly in my lifetime. And I think it's the biggest change that, you know, Robo Race is trying to play a part in and a significant part in that. You know, and give young engineers like a, a platform for the future for them to develop. And I think that's one of the one of the key things. You know, the next 20 years is going to be a pretty amazing, amazing time.